salutations friends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be reviewing the new formula of zoologist panda and briefly giving you um, the differences between the original formula and also telling you why they reformulated it so if you want to know how this performs how it projects if it fits very well with the already other fantastic fragrances from zoologist perfumes and how it compares to the original panda formula then keep watching first off giant shout out again thank you so much victor wong for sending me the sample i've really been enjoying it um and real quickly in case you're wondering why they reformulated it one of the original ingredients um one of the base notes of the original um panda which was the Pimal root. I might be mispronouncing that. I'm very sorry. They were unable to use any more. So they used this opportunity to reformulate Panda. So if you're wondering why they reformulated it so quickly, that's the reason why. Shout out to Paul Kyler, who was the nose behind the original Panda in 2014. The nose now is Christian Corbinell, and I've been saying Cornell, so it's Christian Corbinell. Um, he is the nose behind the new panda. So when I'm talking about the nose and creating it, Christian Corbinell, not Paul Kyler. So the opening notes of the new panda um, is to me like where the differences come into. You've got apple, you've got osmanthus, you've got a beautiful mixture of white floros, of lilies and magnolia and mandarin. Um, the heart notes are amber, Earthy notes, jasmine, orris, patchouli, and the base notes are civet, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. Um, I would say that this fragrance relies very heavily on the osmanthus and the apple because the tartness and the kind of straw-like sweetness of those two notes are really what kind of like balance everything out throughout the entire fragrance and throughout the entire wear time. Um, the opening of this is very strong with the white florals, but that tartness from the apple kind of cuts through it, which is really, really nice. And that heavy sweetness of the white floral goes away after about five minutes and provides a really nice base for the other fragrances or the other notes to play on. After a while, you start to get a little bit more of the patchouli, a little bit more of the tea notes. It gets a lot more earthy, more damp. This is one of those damp fragrances, which is really, really pleasant. And then you start to get the woody notes of the base and the warmth from the vanilla and the amber. Overall, kind of like the other zoologist fragrances, this is freakishly well balanced for the variety of different notes that play together to create this fragrance and so in that way it's very successful. I really love the story that this tells on my skin. The original panda to me was kind of like one note, one symphony and as much as I ridiculously love that it's been one of my favorite fragrances to reach for this summer. I like that this new formulation has a little bit more complexity although they removed some of the notes and changed that you'd think would add more complexity and make it less complex with less depth. But the way that they balanced everything in this new formula I think is so ridiculously successful it kind of adds another layer to the already successful original panda. Um, again, most of that comes from the tartness of the apple and the straw-like floral notes of the osmanthus mixed with the other notes in there, and we'll get into that when I kind of compare the two. When it comes down to how this fragrance performs, I will say I'm very pleased. It performs just as well as the other ones. It has fantastic sillage. It doesn't fill a room. It's about arm's length, but it's a very pleasant scent cloud, as well as having wonderful longevity about eight hours on my skin. Because this fragrance is pretty much perfect for daytime, and although it does have the osmanthus, which some people might not understand, I still think that this is a very versatile fragrance and would be very appropriate for pretty much any place you would go during the day that includes work or school. But I also think the kind of like honey-like notes and the warmth and the syrupiness that you do get from the vanilla and the amber later on would make this appropriate for hot summer evenings. So you can pretty much wear this anywhere. I wouldn't say it would be so much of a formal evening fragrance, but it's definitely really great if you're going out for dinner or going out for drinks or just going to go do something fun in the evening and you wanted to smell nice. Definitely would work in those occasions. Um, so I do love the versatility that this fragrance has just like the original. 
I do also like the fact that it also fits in with the other fragrances of Zoologist. And what I mean by that is when you think about Zoologist, or when I think about Zoologist, I expect a level of integrity with their fragrance. The idea behind Zoologist fragrances, which is very transportive. It's transporting you to the environment, the habitat where these animals live, but in a very I can wear this on my body as a fragrance kind of way. And the new formulation is just as successful as the original formulation of Panda. So I definitely think this fits in seamless, seamlessly with the other Zoologist fragrances. So let's talk about real quickly, because I don't want this review to be too long, the differences between the original formula and the new formula. I'm going to quickly, if you guys don't want to sit through this, if you already own the new formula, you can most definitely buy the new formula. Or if you already own the old formula, you can most definitely buy the new formula. They're definitely not brother-sister, they're more cousins. It's kind of like the people who like to wear different amber fragrances or different rose fragrances or different oud fragrances. There's enough differences in the formulas where they are definitely easy to tell that they are not the same thing. So if you like the original Panda formula, you will probably like the new formula of Panda, but you could wear it separately because it's not the same fragrance, which I'm actually really excited for because Victor's going to be getting more of my money. <laughs> getting ahead of myself here. Um, the top notes are Buddha's Hand Citron. If you don't know what that is, have you ever been to like a really fancy grocery store in their produce section and you see these like crazy things that look like mutant lemons and they kind of look like this? and they look like lemon rind, that's the Buddha's hand citron. Um, then you have bamboo, the Sichuan pepper, green tea, mandarin, zizu leaves. The heart notes are osmanthus, orange blossom, lilies, mimosa, and incense. The bottom notes are sandalwood, pimao root, pimao root, if I mispronounce that, I'm sorry. That is the ingredient that they can't use anymore, thus the reformulation. Um, cedar, fresh musk, bourbon, Haitian vetiver, and damp moss. Now the three notes that I think that really make the difference in the older formula versus the new formula are in the old formula it's the absence of the pepper, it's the mimosa, and it's the vetiver. Um, the added notes of the new formula or the different notes that I think really make a difference are the apple, is the amber and vanilla combo. I'm just gonna say that's the combo. And the more pronounced osmanthus notes. You still get the beautiful tea notes in this. You still get this beautiful kind of like, not actual bamboo feeling, but if you've ever smelled anything that's like bamboo, you still get that kind of heart with this fragrance. Um, you get a little bit less um, brightness in the old one, the new one is to me a little bit more bright and it's the tartness from the apple mixed with the straw-like floral notes of the osmanthus. And the fact that the osmanthus is more pronounced mixed with the lilies and the magnolia and the jasmine at a really nice base for the other notes. Now the pepper in the original note is something you th think might add a little bit of complexity. But to me, that's more of like something that bound everything together in the original note. You got the pepper and then you got everything else. And so it just kind of was like, you ever have like a dish and you add hot sauce and you mix it all together. So it just all is like one flavor rather than putting a hot sauce everywhere in each bite. It's a little bit different. The hot sauce and the pepper bound everything together in the original panda which is really really nice and created a beautiful symphony like song for this fragrance but the absence of the pepper the absence of that kind of spice note and the added note of the almost benign vanilla amber note kind of lets the other notes stand out and gives it a little bit more complexity mixed with the tartness of the apple which brightens it up a little bit and also sweetens up that kind of straw-like osmanthus floral notes in a very positive way. It's a ridiculously well-balanced fragrance and I definitely like the story that it's telling and the song that it sings. Now do I like it better than the original panda? Now there again are the differences to me. The new, pan and the new panda is a little bit more complex. It's a little bit more it's got more going for it, it seems, but the original Panda was also very well balanced. It's again, what do you, what are you looking for? Some people like easier to understand fragrances. The old Panda to me is a little bit easier to understand. The new Panda is a little bit more conceptual. And again, I can think from the tartness, 
the something that's not binding it all together but the vanilla that's kind of acting as kind of like a base for everything else to chump off of and again osmanthus is one of those notes that not everybody is familiar with and so they're kind of like what is this so it's a little bit more on the conceptual side which again like i was saying if you have the original panda i think getting the new formula is fine um so i would say that they both compare and contrast in different ways but they are again very connected this video is getting so weird i'm sorry Overall, I think that they both stand very strongly on their own. I definitely see the similarities. I definitely see the soul of Zoologist Fragrances in both of these formulas. But I would say that the new formula is very successful. Again, I love the tartness of the apple. I love the more pronounced Osmanthus notes. I love the richness that the vanilla and the amber gives to it. I love how the patchouli and the orris and the jasmine and the lilies and the sandalwood work really well together. I mean everything again is ridiculously well balanced and comes together to create a really beautiful fragrance. It's a little bit more complex than the original panda but they're both ridiculously well balanced fragrances and both very successful. Also, I think that both of them, like I said before, are very versatile and at the same time, if you're wondering, these are unisex fragrances and if you like to know what unisex is, um, I'm not, I, all fragrances are genderless, I always say that, but these fall in the category of how a fragrance would be marketed. These would be marketed as unisex fragrances. So men or women can wear this, um, any age can wear it, and you can wear it pretty much anywhere. So I would say that compared to the old formula, the new formula is ridiculously ugh, successful and definitely worth checking out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it's a little mishmashed. Again, it's ready to thunder and lightning. So I have to end this here. If you guys have any questions uh, maybe I didn't quite touch on something. You guys have a question about the original formula or the newer formula. Uh, maybe about how they compare and contrast quite differently. If I didn't answer any of your questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Feel free to ask any question. Talk about it. If you've tried the new formula, if you've tried the old formula, if you're excited for this, if you think it's kind of weird that we're formulating so soon, let me know in the comment section below. Be more than happy to answer any questions that you have to the best of my ability. <laughs> So yeah, and also if you like videos like this, specifically fragrance videos and fragrance reviews, remember to give this video a thumbs up, lets me know to continue doing videos like this, and also don't forget to subscribe. Because it's free, and I'm free. I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something free to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy, have a great day, month, year, whatever, and I will see you next time.